they've been all such interesting questions and interesting answers, and I've been thinking of all the answers as we've been going along. So I must say I am not a huge internet person. My favorite site currently, there's an artist who and a photographer who does cards that I really enjoy looking at, and I enjoy Elaine's blog. So the fact that we can get on and learn more about our friends as well as people that are across the country is wonderful. <clears throat> However, I'm kind of like a not, um, I guess it's fortuitous that I am the person who used to manage that old bookstore that's now a container store. <laughs> and so I'm a little resentful that plastic is more popular than <laughs> <laughs> And I'm also one of those people who I remember, well, I don't remember, but you know, ships took months to deliver a letter. And then there was Pony Express, and then there was Telegraph, and then there was phone, and now it's instantaneous internet. And in some ways, I think the wait was sweeter. I think it's nice to get a letter in the mail versus the email. It is convenient. I like the convenience a lot. And I like being able to connect to people. But if I went a week without the internet, I'd have so much junk to clean out and the delete and takes that's a time waster. So I'm just kind of very conflicted about the internet. I don't know what I'm gonna do in the future. I think I'm just gonna have to roll with it. I'm not gonna get hugely social media into it. I don't put a lot of personal information, but I do appreciate LinkedIn, and I hope that it will help me in the future in finding a new position. So overall, you know, it's the world as it is, but I'm still a little bit of the old fashioned. Yay.